things that they talked about, though so, so briefly, was the idea that this isn't just a Ferguson issue. This isn't just a one section, one town problem. It's so important to realize that community doesn't mean an area. It means a livelihood, and we're all human. We're all alive in this together. As an African-American woman, seeing the media conversation around extremely high-profile events, from the Rodney King situation when I was a child child, through um, the current situations today, the way that public discourse has happened around race in these situations has expanded. It's something, it's gone from something being tiptoed around to something that if you were really bold you could say something about, to something that's, that's expected in modern conversation. We have to talk about race. It is not an ancillary or an auxiliary conversation. It, it is a central part of how we, um, how we process any situation that's coming up. And I, I love that that's happening. And I love that national dialogues like this are happening and not just on the fringes as part of central discourse. Until we can actually speak to one another without underlining fear or shame or guilt or anger or hatred, then there's no way we're ever going to actually get information from each other. We're never going to become that melting pot that we are so proud of as Americans for having.